Hello friends, myself assistant professor Watsal D. Patel in civil engineering department working at Mahatma Gandhi Institute of Technical Education and Research Center Nursery. Today we are going to discuss about street lighting. So contents we are going to discuss are need for street lighting, basic definitions, distribution of light and design factor for the street lighting. So need for the street lighting. The main purpose of street lighting is to enable the road user to see accurately and easily the carriageway and the immediate surrounding in the darkness. Majority of the road accidents are caused in night and the poor lighting is the main cause. Improve visibility at night by means of artificial lighting lessens the strain on driving and ensure the comfort. The driver feels more confident in driving under proper street lighting. With better lighting, the speed of traffic generally improves and traffic flow condition improves. Highway lighting is particularly more important at intersection, bridge site, level crossing and places where there is a restriction of the traffic movement. On urban roads where the density of population is high, road lighting has other advantages like feeling of security and protection. So factors affecting night visibility, amount and distribution of light flux from the lamps size of object, brightness of object, brightness of the background, reflecting characteristics of the pavement surface, glare on the eyes of the driver, time available to see an object. Next one is definitions. First one is luminous flux denoted by phi. This is the radiant power given by light source and it is, is its SI unit is lumen. Second one is lumen, it is denoted by Lm. It is equal to the amount of flux received on the surface area of 1 square meter of sphere when a light source of 1 candle power placed at its center. Its SI unit is luminous flux and lumen is equal to candle power into solid angle. Next one is tiradian. A steradian is the unit of a solid angle. It is equal to the solid angle subtended at the center of a sphere by unit area of its surface. Next one is luminous intensity, it is denoted by capital I. Luminous flux emitted per solid angle is called luminous intensity. It is given by phi divided by omega. Next one is candela, it is the unit of luminous intensity. Luminous intensity expressed in candelas is called candle power. Next one is glare, condition of vision in which there is a discomfort or a reduction in the ability to see significant object or both due to an unsuitable distribution of luminous or to the extreme contrast in the space or time. Next one is lantern, a house for one or more lamps comprising a body and refractor, reflector, diffuser or enclosure associated with the lamps. Next one is illumination, it is denoted by capital E. It is the measure of the amount of light flux which falls on the surface. It is given by phi divided by in, and its unit is lumen per meter square. Next one is luminous or say brightness. The luminous intensity emitted or reflected per unit area of surface is called luminous. It is given by I divided by A. Next one is distribution of light. The total output of a point light source will naturally radiate uniformly from the point with equal intensity in all directions. It is evident that such light distribution will be insufficient and uneconomical when the purpose is to direct the light towards a relatively limited area such as pavement of a street. There are mainly three types of distribution of light like glare, vertical distribution of light and lateral distribution of light. So first one is glare. The amount of glare present is dependent on brightness of glare source, angle of incidence with respect to the normal line of vision, area of glare source and distance of glare source from the observer. Second one is vertical distribution of light. The vertical distribution of light in street light system follows one of three types. First one is cost cutoff. In cutoff system, the light is reduced as completely as rapidly as possible about the 70 degree angle with the downward vertical the main beam being usually at this angle this system eliminates glare glare second one is non cutoff or say high angle beam 
in non cut off high angle beam system the peak intensity is at about 80 degree and there is considerable output near the horizontal plane with this system a certain amount of glare is inevitable and the modern lighting practice does not favor this system and last one is semi cut off or say medium angle beam the non cut off medium angle beam system is in between about two system with a peak intensity directed at an angle of 75 degree third one is later distribution of light the distribution of light in the horizontal direction is equally important it is not enough that the pavement alone is lighted from the aesthetic consideration the pedestrian footways and the curves are also need to be adequately lighted so there are three types of horizontal distribution symmetrical distribution axial distribution and non axial distribution next one is design factor for the street lighting various factor to be considered for the design of street lighting and mainly are first one is contrast when the brightness of the object is less than that of the background that is when an object appears darker than the road surface second one is glare the disturbing influence when viewing a difficult visual task under low brightness condition is known as glare there are two types of glare disability glare and discomfort glare third one is lamps the lamps commonly used for highway lighting are tungsten filament lamps fluorescent lamp sodium vapor lamp and mercury vapor lamps luminaire distribution of light to have the best utility of the luminaire or the source of light it is necessary to have proper distribution of light it should be aimed to achieve following purposes it should cover the pavement between the curves it should make prominent the traffic signs and other object on the road it should produce maximum uniformity of pavement brightness next one is later placement of lighting poles the lighting pole should not be installed very close to the pavement edges because in that case the capacity of the roadway is decreased and the free movement of traffic is obstructed irc indian road congress has specified following horizontal clearances for the lighting poles for example for road with raised curves as in the urban roads minimum 0.3 meter and desirable 0.6 meter from the edge of the raised curb and in case for the road with without raised curb as in rural roads minimum 1.5 meter from the edge of the carriageway subject to minimum 5 meter from the center line of the carriageway next one is height and overhang of mounting the glare on ice from the mounted light decreases with the increase in the height of mounting. Usually mounting height ranges from 6 to 10 meter. Overhangs on the lighting poles would keep the poles away from the pavement edges, but still allow the lamp to be held above the curb or towards the pavement. Next one is spacing of lighting unit. The spacing between lamps on straight load is about 3 to 5 times the mounting height. For sharp curves, the spacing between lamps is closer for better visibility conditions. Next one is lighting layout. Various types of layout adopted for lighting poles on street or highway are single side lighting, both side lighting opposite, both side lighting staggered and central lighting. So benefits of highway lighting. Due to proper street lighting, the police can do better patrol during night and their job becomes easier and more manageable. Increase in business in city or downtown are as during night which would otherwise have been totally not accepted. The architects and town planners have found lighting to be a major source of beautification of their projects. Due to good street lighting, there is a considerable reduction in the accident rate during the night. The illegal action and antisocial activities on the roads are certainly discouraged by improved lighting techniques and it gives a pleasant atmosphere during light. So here I end my session. Thank you all of you.